Yes, you've seen drills with this, a tennis ball, of course. However, the drills we're gonna show you today, you might not have seen. High power challenges, we're gonna take you through incredible exercises like what you see behind me on the heavy bag using a tennis ball. There's so much you can do with minimal equipment. We're gonna show you some of these high power drills. You're gonna love it, so stick around. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this. Drill number one, shadow boxing as a warm up with a tennis ball. Now, what this does is it gets that incredible hand-eye coordination lit up before you hit the heavy bag or shadow box without the balls. It also forces you to close your hand on impact, which is huge for boxing because that's how you develop more power and punching through the target. It also allows you to work different ranges because the ball is gonna move all over the place. You have to catch it. Again, working different combinations. And of course, it allows you to hit a moving object, which simulates you just crushing your opponent in the ring or even hand pads. So it's phenomenal for that to get you lit up and ready for that. And once you start to feel it, you develop an incredible boxing flow. Because again, everything in boxing is about a flow. When you start to feel that flow kicking in, as you can see Josh doing right here, you really do feel that mind-body connection to sharpen your hands in the boxing game. Now the thing is, why do we use tennis balls for boxing drills? Number one, everybody has these bad boys kicking around. They're cheap, they're easy to find. They're phenomenal for agility, they bounce. You can cut them to use them for different areas of boxing. We're gonna show you a drill with that today. More importantly, if you think of it, it's a fifth of the size of Josh's head. So when you get used to hitting a smaller object, you're pinpointing the jaw, the temple, the nose. Again, it's great for people to understand how to hit a moving object with a smaller target. Drill number two, listen, this one is one of those drills where it doesn't necessarily look like it's going to work for you. It doesn't seem like it makes sense, but you gotta try it. When you cut this tennis ball in half and you put it on your hat, you have to have phenomenal head control. Now I know you have to change the axis, put your head on different axes and always be slipping and changing angles. Of course, that's what boxing is. However, if you're somebody who struggles and you always rotate your head too much throwing a punch, doing this drill allows you to focus on head control and pivoting your body around your head. Remember, your head control is your spine. So if you're turning too much, it puts you at risk for getting knocked out because your head is rotated. This drill allows you to work that rotation through your shoulder while keeping your head still when you're punching. Then you can move after. It also teaches you when you throw your uppercuts to not lift your chin or drop too much. It teaches you to keep your chin in here as you're throwing combinations. And of course, it teaches you awesome head control. So if you're a person who struggles with fluidity when you punch or just struggles with keeping your head in a proper position, this is a phenomenal drill. Drill number three, drop and catch. An incredible drill to test your head and eye coordination in a longer range. Put the ball between your shoulder blades, turn around and catch it really quick. If you think about boxing, sometimes your eyes are covered and you have to move quite a bit to either get out of the way or land a shot without being able to see your opponent. There's a similar challenge like this on TikTok where they're dropping a toilet paper roll over the back and catch it between their legs. It's similar to that. We used to do this back in the gym and the loser had to do 50 burpees. It's no joke, give it a shot. In the comments, let me know how you did. All right, here we go. Drill number four, an incredible drill, reaction heavy bag drill, nine balls. I twisted the heavy bag, it's gonna rotate. How fast can Josh get all these off the heavy bag? Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. All of them, all of them, all nine, all nine, all of them, all of them. Come on, come on. All of them, all of them, all of them. Keep going, they're everywhere. Keep going, keep going, it's still on. It's still on, let's go. 11.54, that's what I gotta beat. My turn, you know what time I gotta beat? Ready, Josh? In five, four, let it go. In three, let's go. Where's the last one? That's it. 8.74. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> this drill, reaction, I love this because you might have seen the video of the F1 car drivers doing these and the reaction is so fast. Now, Josh for sure should crush me in this just due to the fact that he's younger. He's in a smaller weight class, his hands and his, his hand speed's really good. I mean, he just made me do burpees. I mean, this young man, I did 20 burpees, so here's how you do it. 
You can be in a boxing stance or in a regular stance. Whatever hand I let go with, he grabs, we're gonna do 10 drops. And as soon as he, as soon as he grabs the ball, he has to give it back to me. Ready, let's go. Two, three drops. Two, that's four. Ooh, that's five. That's six. Nice. Seven. Nice. Eight. Nine. Yes. What? All right, guys, this is a fun drill. Good little challenge. We got Josh and Ned. We're gonna do three bounces to the right hand with the soccer ball, three bounces with the lead hook. If whoever scores first, the loser's gotta do 20 burpees. Pretty simple, right? Let's go. Oh, one. Oh, off the post. Oh my gosh, that was three. Let's go, Josh goes now, right hand. Oh, never. Neighbors. Ooh, some heat on that one. Oh, no. What? I lost. That's 20 burpees for me. Hold on. Let's do left hook first. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go. Left hook first. I got 20. I got 20 in the bank. Let's go. Left hook. Oh, what? Let's go. What? I can't believe this happened. It's going left hook. Oh. I still lose though. That's a fun one, you guys. Let's go. <laughs> that was so close. Woo! Boxing is an incredible tool, of course, but there's so many training techniques that you can use with a tennis ball or a soccer ball, like your reaction drills or your soccer drills in the back. It doesn't matter, just have fun with it. If you're a beginner, these are great ways for you to access better hand-eye coordination. And of course, if you wanna see more videos like this one with Josh and I, make sure you subscribe to the Nate Bar Fitness YouTube channel by hitting the bell, subscribe. We'll see you for the next one.